or say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another video. Here I am ready to start a Frontline game. Yes, Frontlines is back. I'm going to uh, show you some gameplay here and uh, give you a few tips on how you can make a lot of credit playing Frontlines. I'm not going to tell you how to be good at playing Frontlines. <laughs> is it Frontlines or Frontline? That doesn't matter. I'm in my EBR 75 whatever, that French wheel, tier 8, uh, light, premium tank, a premium wheeled vehicle, whatever, and uh, yeah, front lines. Uh, it's, apparently we get to play it uh, every month it comes back, and there's so many prizes. Uh, I hope you guys have been doing it. Uh, I think this, uh, this round is just about over, but every month it, there's a round, and you, you move up levels as you play more games. As you uh, increase your level, you win uh, lots of credits. And uh, importantly, when you get to level 30, you win 250 bonds, which uh, those bonds are probably the most important thing in the game. If you build up lots of bonds, you can buy the premium uh, equipment and stuff. But uh, hey, okay, uh, I'm not going to spend the, the video saying, hey, look at me, look how good I am, uh, watch me. I'm going to get uh, 17,000 damage. I'm going to become a general. And all you have to do is be uh, great and as good as I am and play exactly like me. And then uh, you'll win all the time and you'll make lots of credits in front lines. Haha. <laughs> you know, when you get as good as I am, you will make some credits. That's, that's not what... Uh, you can go watch some other videos to, uh, to get that perspective. But uh, if you're just a regular guy playing this, quote-unquote, fun... Uh, mode for a break from the regular modes. I'll uh, give you some tips on how you can uh, Anybody can make lots of credits, okay, and you'll notice let's get right into it here Because this is just for the regular schmo, right? The, the, the regular guys that hey, let me try this new mode and I know a lot of a Lot of people have no clue what's going on in front lines not not a hope and hell of understanding anything I could quick disclaimer if you think pub matches are frustrating when you're on a team of Muppets, well, when you're on a team of Muppets in front line, or it, which I find myself on a lot, it's this. <laughs> the games last longer, so it's it's you're frustrated for longer, because there's nothing more frustrated than when the guy, the in-game voice says, uh, uh, "Area C is being capped, is under attack," and. Uh, you know, you say, okay, team, let's go. But nobody moves. They're all, you know, <laughs> nobody knows that they, we're attacking. You're defending. I don't know where to go. What do I do? I'm in my, my defender. I'll just sit here at, at the spawn and do, oh, what happened? They, they won the area. I'm exploding. There's artillery coming in. Nobody knows. Sometimes it's one big clusterfuck. But or, or you're on a team that's attacking and uh, you've, you've kind of worked your way all up. To, to the end there and there's those big artillery pieces you're supposed to destroy and, and your teammates don't know that they're supposed to shoot them and the objectives what do you mean objective what's an objective it's just but that's not what this video about is about it's not about uh, complaining about all the Muppets that are scurrying around like idiots playing <laughs> because that's true all the time uh, and it's not about how do you play front lines because you can go figure that out to yourself or watch some other videos so and I've ramp. It's been almost three and a half, four minutes, and I haven't told you anything about how to make credits. I promise I will. Okay, I'm going to start right now. Number one, you'll notice I'm in a premium tank. Duh. Okay, so if you play premium tanks, because front lines is not about stats, and it doesn't show up in your uh, all, all the statistics and your your record, your PR, your, your oh my God, your W and eight may suffer. No, it's separate. <coughs> So you don't have to worry about it, you know. Hopefully you can just come out and have some fun. So if you have tier 8 premium tanks, they're very uh, good because you're going to make more credits, right? But some of you don't have premium tanks. So I would choose tanks uh, that you uh, have noticed you make credits playing because there's some tanks that the ammunition is cheaper and some tanks that the ammunition is more expensive. And I'm not talking about uh, strategically picking which tanks will help you win. If you want to capture the base, pick some heavy tanks and go in there. Um, or if you're on defense, pick tanks with big guns, more TDs. You know, there, there's different strategies. I happen to like being really mobile because the maps are big. I like to be able to drive around, so I play a lot of light tanks. And they tend to make a lot of credits. 
Uh, so anyways, pick tanks that, that you consistently uh, do better in uh, making credits, and you, you know what, your, what tanks are best for you. But look at the loadout I have uh, on my tank. This is point number two. I have packed no premium ammo. Zero. I've got, see that, number two? Zero. I've stripped it down. I've only got regular ammo, which means I'll bounce on all the overpowered uh, Russian tanks, the Defenders, the Type uh, uh, T-54 Modifieds, right? The, even the LT-432s, all the, the IS-3s, <laughs> all the Russian tanks, which would dominate this mode. Who gives a shit? I'm only packing regular ammo because it's the cheapest, zero heat, and I've got some HE shells, they're even cheaper. And do this on all your tanks. Do not waste your your credits firing premium ammo in front lines. Like, holy shit. Uh, I've played so many games, I'm in my light tank getting shot with heat in front lines. Like, come on, get, get a life. Okay, so there, so no premium ammo. Number two, I've stripped down all my uh, consumables. Because uh, in regular pub games, I'll have food to increase my view range. I'll have the large repair kit, large first aid kit. No, not in front lines. See that? I've got the little uh, fire extinguisher, no food. That saves me 20,000 credits. The little repair kit, the little first aid kit. And uh, I don't use them. Uh, I almost never use them. I will just go to the repair facilities. Uh, only if it's like live or die, I'm resetting or, you know, the extreme situation. I shouldn't even put them on. Okay, so no consumables, right? Um, number three. Was that number three or whatever? Anyways, so you're getting, you're starting to figure out what I'm saying here. Decrease your spending to the minimum. Then what you have to do is do damage. <laughs> Try and do as much damage as you can uh, because you get more credits the more damage you do. And this is important. When you get those tokens, when you play uh, four or five games or you, know, and you, you move up levels, you start getting tokens. And so many players don't know this. You unlock the artillery, artillery strikes, and the uh, the uh, plane bombs are the two that do lots of damage. Unlock those first, and use them and do damage. And I don't have them in this game because this is my first game of Frontlines uh, for for this year. Showing you my first game. Notice I don't have uh, where my consumables are. Four is fire extinguisher. Five is first aid kit. Uh, repair kit six is first aid kit when you unlock those other things seven would be artillery strike eight would be the plane bombers and you could use those and they do damage and, and it just adds up to your damage total okay and they're free right you just use them you unlock unlock them with tokens that you've uh, made so and then it helps to win <laughs> because you make more credits when you win and more XP but that, uh, unfortunately, is going to be up to you, because I'm not going to tell you how to win. And it's uh, you've got a big team, and this is one of the things about Frontlines, is you're one of a lot of people, and it's difficult to just carry uh, a Frontlines game. And I'm playing here very, uh, uh, like a support role. I'm just, uh, I'm going to try uh, not to die for the whole match, as long as my team is progressing. See if I can make it through this whole game without dying in one tank because you as you die and you respawn you're using different tanks right uh, which is good uh, but i'm going to try not to die let's see if i could do it um so winning okay i'll give you a, a couple of tips for winning and not strategies of where you should go and how you should be hauled down or you know positions but one important thing is to remember especially after Frontlines has been going for a couple of days, is a lot of people unlock those artillery strikes, plane strikes, and all that stuff. And uh, unfortunately, you can't see it on my screen here, but they take two or three minutes to, uh, to uh, become active. Like the game starts and they start, uh, you know, it takes 300 seconds for them to, to charge, and then you get your artillery strike. So imagine after five or six uh, days that people are playing front lines and everyone's unlocked artillery strikes and almost everyone that's playing has them. Uh, so three minutes into the game, you've got like uh, 30 enemies that have art artillery strike, right? Well, you, I hope you've captured 
your objective by then if you're on attack. And one of the things I see all the time is the game starts, and in the first few minutes, the attacking team just kind of plants themselves in camping positions and doesn't try and capture the freaking bases. And if you wait, if you don't capture those initial bases in the first couple of minutes, uh, and then you try and make a move five, six minutes into the game, when all the enemies have those artillery strikes, you're going to get in those bases and just get shit on from above. Uh, like there's, you know, your ass is just going to get pounded by everyone launching artillery strikes on you. Good luck. You have almost all of these, uh, you're, you're a huge disadvantage. So it's crucial to get those initial, and our team has done it. See the bottom row? We have got all three, A, B, and C. We've captured them early enough that I think we stand a chance here. And I've just been supporting so far. So that's kind of crucial. If you're on attack, for crying out loud, go attack. Right? Don't, you're on attack, don't just... Well, what, what I did is I s sat back and supported. But I'm in a light tank, right? If you're on attack and you load in with a defender or an IS-3 or, or a heavy tank of some kind and uh, you, you check your lineup and you've got three or four players that have heavy... Go into the freaking base! It's not that hard to capture the bases because uh, when someone shoots you, they, it doesn't reset you. It just uh, lowers the counter a little bit. And if there's three or four or five of you in the base and they don't have artillery strikes, it's very difficult for them to uh, stop you from capping unless they charge in, and, and then you can shoot them back, right? If you die, you, you get to respawn. It's no big deal. It's for fun. Just for crying out loud, go attack if you're on attack, okay? And number two, if you're on defense and you notice that they're in the base, go freaking defend. And those are, oh, they're in the base. What do we do? I'll just wait here till one of them heads my... No, just go to the base and fight them and, and shoot them and try and kill one. And, and if you die, you get to respawn. It's just a fun mode. You, you know, it's, it's okay if you die. Those are the two main things, is when you're on attack for crying out loud attack and when you're on defend for crying out loud defend. And if you just do that, the rest is like you're, you're just playing the game. Uh, but most games are lost because the attacking team doesn't really attack. They don't take the objectives. Or the defending team just camps out of range of the objectives and doesn't really defend. Those are the main two reasons. And then at the end of the game, when you get near the end, if you're attacking, there's those objectives which are the big uh, artillery pieces that you, you're sup you have to destroy them. And you have to destroy three of the five objectives. When you get to the end, and you're in a position to shoot one of those things, shoot it! Don't worry about farming more damage. Like win the game! And if you're defending, and the voice, the game voice says, Objective number one, under attack. If it says that, and you're sitting beside objective number five, and there's no enemies around, no, there's 11 of you, we're in, uh, there's no one around five, objective number one, under attack. Well, we'll do, they'll get over here eventually. No, drive there and try and defend it. So it's, it's pretty straightforward. Attack if you have to attack, defend if you have to defend. Uh, that, that's my no bullshit to, um, advice for uh, increasing your win rate a little bit, right? Because it, you're not going to carry the game. But if there's 30 players and they at least do that, then you're probably going to win because I tell you, Boy, what I've seen in this game, out of the 30 players, there might be 11 or 15 that really don't know. Like, they, they have no idea. So as long as you know that, uh, then you're probably going to win more often than not. And the, uh, the things I mentioned about, how did this guy get behind me? He was in the smoke. Oh, I am damaged. I'm maybe not going to finish this game without... Look at this little wheel wobbling here. I got two wobbling wheels. And uh, look, I got to train up repair on this thing because it's... The, how long does it take to change a freaking flat tire, guys? And I'm still wobbling. Okay, that was a long wheel wobble. All right, does, uh, did I make any sense? Did I make any sense? And uh, enjoy it. Just have fun. But there is one thing. There is one thing, and I, I, I should mention it here. Did you? And you guys got to leave it in the comments, because I've noticed 
in um, front lines. Spotting and detection in some places to me seems like it's wonky. Like uh, I, like is it screwed up? Is it broken? And I, that's, uh, I'm not going to rant about all oh, the spotting mechanic is broken. The maps are all broken. No, I mean, 99% uh, of uh, front lines for me is just fun, taking a break. Uh, it's a fun mode. It's a fun change. I'm 100% for front lines, and I think they should, uh, you know, they should switch it up. Maybe uh, have a uh, tier 6 one month. Or, I don't know. It, try it for different tiers. See how that works, right? Because a lot of people don't aren't at tier 8 yet, and they can't play yet. Maybe uh, try it for tier 6 or some different tiers. Switch it around. I understand tier 8 because there's a lot of premium tanks in tier 8, so that, that's... So I love front lines. I think it's great. But I've noticed in some cases, uh, I'll spawn and I'll move to a bush and uh, there's no, uh, oh, I'll be detected. I'm going, what? Or I'll be in a spot that I, I know exactly where the enemies are and uh, I know for certain I'm in cover and, oh, my six, I'm detected. What? Or I'll be in a spot overlooking the base and I can't see anyone and there's an open field in front of me. And then, uh, oh, the, someone's in base uh, A. I'm right beside base A. I haven't seen anyone. And someone must have driven through the open to get to base A, and I haven't seen them. Uh, do you guys have situations where you're spotted or you're sure, certain that you should have detected someone, but uh, uh, but you didn't or you got spotted? With I think there's some wonky things going on. And just as this game's drawing to a, clo a close, I think we're going to win. My team is going to get objective two. Let, let me just show you this example here. In this particular example, I just respawned, and I'm in one of the stealthiest tanks in the game. I got almost 50% cam on the move. I think over 10% when I'm firing as well. And I've just respawned. Look at the mini-map. Look at my projecto up there. He's uh, uh, The enemies have just kind of taken the area, and they're moving north. And I've just respawned, and I'm coming here. My projecto spots that guy. Now, watch this. I've paused the video. Okay, look at my projecto has spotted this uh, M4190. Look at my view range circles on the map. The white circle is the maximum detection range. That guy is outside uh, the maximum detection range. There's no chance he can spot me. It doesn't matter what his view range is, you know, what skills he has. Look at the map. He's outside my white circle. So that I'm outside his white circle. There's no chance he can spot me, okay? Uh, let's keep going here and I take a shot and watch this. I'm detected. I, I'm detected? How the hell am I detected? Well, you're probably saying, oh, well, there's probably someone else closer to you that detected you. Well, no, there isn't because I know exactly where the enemies are. I, I had a projecto up there spotting. I just respawned here. There's where th y you can tell uh, uh, they're gone. And they're still shooting me. I'm still detected here. There you go. I'm shot. I'm detected. Like, how the hell does that work? And you're probably thinking, oh, there, there's a little tank up there close that's hiding in the bushes. Well, no, because you can do this. You know, you can press uh, a shift and it tells you these are all the uh, tanks that are in my area. Right? There's no fast little wheel vehicle that got anywhere into any kind of a spotting position. And I can just look at the list here and then look at the... the players that are on the screen and I know that well that there's no one that's uh, in any position that uh, that could spot yet I'm getting hit here you know there was one M4190 light tank that, that was outside my render range and the, the other one is is uh look at that off to the southwest there way outside my even my render range so I have no idea uh, there's some uh, weird shit going on and I'm interested to, to hear from you guys have you noticed that uh, have I had other situations where I'm hidden in a bush stationary uh, in f defending one of the caps and then out of the blue, I'm detected. Oh, there's no one around and then someone's in the cap 50 feet from me, uh, driven through the open to get there. I have no idea how it's happened. So either the, uh, uh, there's something to do with the spotting or it, maybe in that example I showed you, even though my circles represent the maximum detection range and spawning range, maybe the map dimensions aren't the same. You know, like when they sent that thing to, to Mars and NASA worked on it for, for years and then it was going to land and it crashed because they, uh, they, they use metric instead of, uh, they, they use meters instead of feet. And they fucked up. Uh, so shit happens. I, I think there's certain situations where there's some weird shit going on. Anyways, leave it in the comments if you guys have noticed 
some uh, situations like that. But other than that, uh, a, uh, a thumbs up for Frontlines. I'm glad it's back. And follow some of my little no-bullshit advice there, you know. The play premium tanks or play tanks that uh, make credits for you. Cheap ammo, no, no premium ammo, no consumables, small first aid kit. Try not to use your first aid kit or repair kit. Just use the damage repair stations, right? Get those bomb artillery drops. Do as much damage as you can and have fun. And uh, you should make credits in every game. Uh, don't play front lines to, lo to spam APCR and heat to lose credits. Because, I mean, does it really matter if you win or lose? It's supposed to be fun for crying out loud. And uh, I'm having a little bit of fun here. I, can I make it through this whole game without dying? Oh, oh, I can't pen. See, I'm not, I'm not going to switch to heat. I don't even have heat. So what? I didn't pen them. I mean, this is what's refreshing about playing uh, front lines is the, the pressure's off. You don't have to play against tier 9s and 10s is why I load the heat or, or the APCR in the first place. You're playing against your own tier counterparts. So for crying out loud, if you can't make it work, and I'm bouncing shot after shot after shot because, you know, so what? Uh, but I'll tell you, what, what is frustrating is uh, when you, you... I don't have any heat or anything loaded in and, and there's three defenders I have to fight. Or uh, T-54 modifieds or even that LT-432. Like, uh, there's no Russian bias? Yeah, right. This is a uh, Russian front lines, guys. If you have Russian premium tanks, tier 8, then enjoy yourself because you're king of the castle in this mode. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that. And yeah, I survived the whole battle with one tank. Ha!